What's good? What's good, everyone? It's Young Reno, the Rookie Chef, and I'm back for another one, y'all. This time, we're just going to be doing something fast and fun. I just had a taste for uh, hot link and spaghetti. You know what I mean? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a red pepper buffalo hot link spaghetti. That's right. Red pepper buffalo hot link spaghetti. Now, that sounds like something you would do as a kid growing up just trying something fun like that. And y'all know me, I'm just a big old, big old teddy bear kid, <laughs> you know? So with that said, let's get on and try this and uh, let's make it fun, all right? Without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's go! So for this red pepper buffalo hot link spaghetti, this is all we using, very fast, quick, and simple. Check it out. We got a hot link that I had left over. It was in the freezer, so I let that thaw out. We got some green onion. We got some thin whole wheat spaghetti. We got a red bell pepper. We got a green bell pepper. We got a red chili pepper. We got a tomato. We got some of that Frank's buffalo sauce, of course. We got some cayenne pepper which is red pepper and we got some cajun seasoning that's all we need we don't need no salt because that cajun seasoning is going to be enough and that's all we're working with right there y'all we're going to turn this into a red pepper buffalo spaghetti uh buffalo hot link spaghetti all right just something fun just something fun with that being said let's go all oh, y'all favorite part of watching me cut up vegetables okay got our red bell pepper it's gonna take it from the top just like this. Cut out in it. Y'all remember that trick? Just go around it, just like that. Go around it just like that. All right. And when you go around it just like that, make sure that make sure that everything in the inside. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna turn. And you're gonna pull right out. Well, this one didn't exactly pull right out. <laughs> Normally it does. Oh. The red bell pepper, I forgot. It has a different core inside, y'all. It ain't like, there we go. You gotta make sure you get down in the, uh, right down in the uh, good part of it. There it is there, okay? All right, let's keep it moving. Once we got that nice and clean, we'll go ahead and cut into it like that. And for this one, I'm just gonna, gonna make them like that, okay? All right, let's keep it moving. Actually, we just gonna cut them down the middle, okay? But they're really, really gonna be this side. All right, let's go. Just like that, let's go. With the green bell pepper, now my trick will work better. Go around it like this. Just like that. Turn, pull, bam, bam. All right, let's keep it moving. Same thing, get that side, let's go. Then I'm gonna turn them to the side. Go down the middle. Just like that. Let's go. Just like that. Keep it moving. For the red pepper, you already know. I don't have to. You already know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Just like that. All right? Let's go. Boom. Tomato. Just going to go ahead. Cut them down like that. And to the side, just like that. Let's keep it moving. Yes, sir. Let's go. Green onions, y'all know how I do it. I just keep them bunched up just like this. Get them like this and... And that's all she wrote, let's go. Bam, mission accomplished. All right, we done with that. Let's cut up that hot link, let's go. Hot link, y'all know how I do it. This one. I'm not gonna do too fancy, I'm just gonna go right down the middle. And they're gonna be just perfectly round like that. Let's keep it moving. And there it is there. Let's keep it moving. Now on this side, we got our skillet ready and we got our water boiling for the spaghetti, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn this up on medium high just to get this heated up quick. I'm gonna put some, some of this good old um, olive oil in here, okay? There you go, like that. That's probably about, I'd say, Two nice tablespoons, okay? Let's get that heated up and keep it moving. What we're gonna go ahead and do, as we got that heated, I went on and put it up to medium, turned it back down to medium. We're gonna go ahead and put these in. Do 
You want to turn it down to medium so they don't pop and fry all over the place, but there you go. Okay, we're gonna get that in, get that cooked in, and we're gonna keep it moving. Even though the hot links makes its own grease, I still wanted to put it in olive oil because we're gonna need that to coat up all our vegetables we're gonna fry, all right? Let's go. Stir fry, that is. And with the boiling water over there for our spaghetti, go ahead and get you some sea salt. I will list that, list that, uh, list this in the description. Get your sea salt. Hold on, y'all. There we go. One, two. That's all, just give it two turns in that boiling water right there, okay? If you don't have that, that's two pinches. All right, let's go. While that, those uh, hot links are frying, I'm going to take my spaghetti about this much. It's only me. I'm not going to break them in half. I'm just going to let them go ahead and go into this pot and let them cook down themselves, okay? Let's go. Now that we got that cooked up good, we want to come on in. Let's come on in now with all our vegetables and all with the things we cut up, all right? Let's go ahead and get that in there, like so. Our green onions, our red chili peppers, our red bell pepper, our green bell pepper, our tomatoes, all right? That's what we're working with right there, boom. All right, once you get that in, once you get that in there, we'll go, go ahead and stir fry all this on up together, and we're gonna keep it moving. Look how beautiful this is coming out. Look how beautiful that's coming out, y'all. Don't that look beautiful? Don't that look beautiful? All right, let's go. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna add our red pepper. Just like that, y'all. Red pepper, about a teaspoon. And then our Cajun, our Cajun seasoning. Same thing, teaspoon, all right? The holes are real small right here, so it looks like it's more, but it's not. Okay, once you get that in there, you go ahead, start giving that a nice little stir, all right? Nice little stir, just like that. All right, let's keep it moving. This is why I wanted to add the olive oil with the meat because it makes a nice little, y'all see that? Makes a nice little coating, which is gonna be good with these spaghettis, all right? Let's go. You can see over here, our spaghetti is coming out just fine. All right, let's go. Okay, once you got them nicely cooked down just like that, just like that, yummy goodness, I'm gonna go ahead, take your spaghetti. In this case, when I make spaghetti this way, I do I do put it inside the skillet. But you know, my regular spaghetti, I just put the the you know the, the sauce and everything on top because I don't like it to just I don't like it to be mixed in, you know, unless you're doing it in something like this. All right. Okay, once you get that in there like that process of stirring will continue. Let's keep it moving. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. What y'all thinking, huh? What y'all thinking? Look at that. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it moving. Now, once you got that cooked on in, come on in with your Frank's buffalo sauce. Pop that open and go ahead. Go ahead and put some on in there, all right? Hey, just like that. Just go over just like that. You know, you can eyeball it. Just like that. Then go ahead and come on in. I have it. I have it on low right now, so I'm letting it low simmer. Go mix that on up, and we're almost to the finish time. Let's go. Bam! Take a look. Look at that. Oh man, don't that look good? Don't that look good? The plating. Let's go. I don't know about y'all, but this came out fire. Introducing the plating, y'all. Here goes that red pepper buffalo hot link. Spaghetti, the Rookie Chef way. Take a look. Take a look at that fire, y'all. Take a look at that fire. I know the steam might be coming up. It might steam up a little, but I'm gonna try to get as good as I can. There it is there. The red pepper buffalo hot link spaghetti, the Rookie Chef way. We put those red peppers, cut up those red peppers in there. We took the Kayon red pepper uh, seasoning. We cut up all those uh, vegetables, the bell pepper, the green bell pepper, red chili pepper, you know, the tomato, the green onions, that's right. And then we stir fried it. And we put that Frank's buffalo sauce over it too. And then we put the final touches and this is what it came out to be. And I know this is gonna be good. I know this is gonna be good. 
There it is, y'all. Red pepper buffalo. Hot link spaghetti. The rookie chef way. With a cold one, of course. There y'all have it, y'all. There y'all have it. There y'all have it. Okay? The taste test. Let's go. All right, y'all. Let y'all see that again. Look at that yummy. Look at that yummy goodness. Man, I just had a taste. I had saw that hot link sitting in there. And I said, you know what? I'm finna do something. We're going to make us. And I got that red pepper in there. And I said, we're going to make us. A red pepper, buffalo, hot link spaghetti. And that's exactly what we did. All right, y'all. Let's go in. Let's go in. I'm just going to get one with a link on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, what y'all think? What y'all think? That's good? That's good? Got the hot link right there in it, too? All right. All right, let's go. Swing it on up a little bit. There you go. Mmm. My goodness, we didn't even need no, no more seasons, but what we use, very easy. Mm, mm, mm. That French sauce is delicious in this. Oh yeah, this is definitely a red pepper buffalo hot meat spaghetti, definitely. Them the lights. I must finish this, okay? What a cold one. Here is where we dim the lights and say our goodbyes. I got to go finish this. This is good. Let me give y'all another recap, all right? Again, this was the uh, red pepper buffalo hot link spaghetti. Take another look. There it is, y'all. There it is, right there. Fiery goodness. Red pepper, buffalo, hot link spaghetti. And the red pepper is good in this. And that Frank's, that Frank's buffalo sauce, oh man, it, it, it goes perfect with everything in here. It's very good, nice and spicy. Now remember, if you don't want it too spicy, we don't have to use red chili peppers. Just use the small little sweet uh, red bell peppers, the mini ones, and just make it look the same. But that is right there, y'all. There it is right there with the cold one. I want to thank y'all for joining me on another Rookie Chef Adventure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love y'all. This is good. I'm about to go tear this up right now, y'all, okay? Until next time, I am Young Reno, the Rookie Chef. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification button so that you don't miss nothing. And uh, we are already to the finish line, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. Hope everybody's doing well out there. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. Take care. I'm out.